describe myself in one sentence. That's hard. You can take a moment to, to think. Egg has to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Small egg in a big world. <gasps> little artist, that is little egg. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Julie. My online handle is julie.egg. Uh, I am an, I guess, independent illustrator. I do lots of commission work. I'm working on an online shop. I like using muted pastel palettes and drawing cute girls and lesbians. I feel like every artist says they've been drawing as long as they remember, but I think that I started taking it seriously in high school. And then I fell out of it a little bit in college and got back into it recently, I'd say like three years ago, is when I started to get back into it seriously. I started taking it seriously again because when I fell out of it, I think I just lost confidence for a little bit. Uh, I felt like my art was kind of stagnant probably, but I wasn't really like trying to improve. And I was also kind of having a crisis about like, what do I really want to do? So I went through a period where I was like, do I want to be like a makeup artist? Do I want to be a nail tech? Like do fashion major? And I took the fashion classes for like nearly two years, but it just wasn't for me in the way that I thought it was when I realized I wanted to do illustration more. School really is not for me, honestly. It never really has been. I've never been a good student. I think college was the only time I was a decent student because I actually liked the classes I was taking, but I've never been the kind of person that can stick to a schedule like that. So I think it was just a little bit more detrimental for my workspace more than it was benefiting me. My biggest influence when it comes to my work is probably just other independent artists. I don't think I have a lot of like I guess professional inspirations. A lot of the inspiration I get just comes from like Twitter and other artists that I'm following on a daily basis. But another big inspiration of mine is Studio Trigger, made like Kill a Kill and stuff like that. A lot of the artists. <laughs> <Sorry. Bitch. laughs> I'm sorry. A lot of the artists in Studio Trigger are a huge inspiration of mine, and they've been an inspiration of mine since like middle school. So I always go back to their work for references, and I look at their animation a lot to try and put motion into my still drawings. <laughs> I do feel pressure to be consistent in my own style and it's hard because I feel like I'm the kind of person that always wants to change it. I feel like looking at my art like five months ago is so different than my art now that it's hard because I want to stay consistent but at the same time I like I can't really let it hold me back because then it's like I'll probably just fall into like some weird crisis about if I really want to do art again. And I try not to actually use social media that much and I try to just like focus on my own thing. But I am satisfied with where my style is now, probably more than I've ever been. My popularity online, honestly, I'm not really sure where it comes from because I wasn't trying or anything. I really don't know, honestly. I just post my art for fun and if people want to follow me, I guess they like to see the titties I draw. <laughs>